Greetings YouTube, it's J-Man, and I'm the Jokester, and welcome once again to another story time episode where we read you uh, the latest entry in Jason's uh, sitcom, The Koopalings and Bowser Jr. Show, which is his unproduced uh, cartoon slash sitcom action adventure comedy type of thing. About the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. before they were evil. Uh, Jason's written hundreds of episodes. And he writes them all. I swear to you, I do not. I contribute nothing to this. I just type it in the computer for him. Right, buddy? Okay. And this, he is really, uh, he's really excited for everyone to hear this latest episode. Which is not come the act. Funny. Oh, that's right. Excuse me. It's not. You wouldn't use. You don't like to use the term comedy to describe to describe it, but it has funny parts. This is episode nine of season five, and it's called the Legendary Adventure. And it opens with a narrator saying, "There was once a legendary warrior. He was sitting on the couch eating his favorite food, danishes." Bowser was taking his son Junior to a doctor's appointment with his brother Lemmy and his sister Wendy. Uh, he told his son on the couch what to do. Bowser yells, Morton! You have to get off that couch and go save Bowsette, your mother. She was captured by the evil Grouser, and I know you, so you better prepare for this. Please take care on your quest. The narrator chimes back in and says, And so Morton got suited up and he grabbed his trusty mallet. Then he got into his clown car and took off. At first, Morton went to make Koopas, <laughs> which is the uh, McDonald's in this universe. And uh, <coughs> Morton walks into McCoopas and says, Hiya, Cooper. <coughs> and the guy behind the counter, Cooper, says, So, what would you like? And Morton says, Well, I'd like a, di a large diet Dr. Koopa. Uh, two large fries and the jumbo cheeseburger. <laughs> Cooper says, okay, that'll be ready in 13 minutes. 13 minutes go by and Cooper says, all right, your food's ready. Oh, thank you, says Morton. Here's five cents and ten royal dollars. Are, are royal dollars worth more than regular dollars? Yeah. Oh, they are? Okay. I have to remember that when I go to Koopa Town. Uh, Cooper says, "Thank you. You know, I heard Morton that you were on an epic quest." Uh, the narrator says, "And so our hero got his food and drove off to the parking lot." Yeah. Clever. Uh, so Morton, they they go to the parking lot, and <gasps> Morton says, "Check out this parking lot clown car." The clown car chitters suddenly. Sabasa appears. Sabasa's the witch, right? Yeah. You're telling me this is not a comedy? Huh. He goes and gets a bunch of food at McCoopas and goes to a parking lot? <laughs> yeah, or maybe I'm hammering this too much. Never mind. So Sabasa the witch says, Who goes there? Morton starts yelling, Ah, ah! Don't be afraid, says Sabasa. You can't go past me, though, unless you answer this riddle. <laughs> What body of water covers the ocean? Morton says, uh, uh, he starts thinking, and we see Morton's mind cloud. And inside the mind, cl mind cloud, uh, Bowser Jr. says, remember, Morton, the river covers the entire ocean. <laughs> so Morton says, oh, it's the river. Sebastian says, that's correct. And also, you seem pretty tough with that mallet. Uh, why don't you defeat the rampaging giant? There's a rampaging giant that we're just getting to. <clears throat> Morton says, I'm coming. The rampaging giant is none other than Tubba Blubba. And Tubba Blubba says, who dares to stir my rampage? Is Tubba Blubba a giant duck? I don't remember. Giant spike fights ghosts. Okay. Well, at any rate, Morton hits Tubba Blubba with his mallet, and Tubba Blubba flies all the way to the ocean. Morton says, you did it, mallet. Uh, Sebastian says, you have done well, so continue on your quest. And Sebastian teleports away. 
Now to save mom, says Morton, he hops in his clown car and takes off. And so our young hero went to the swamp. And Morton says, well, clown car, it looks like we got to get past this quick mud. Clown car chitters, and Morton says, what's that clown car? We can fly over this mud without sinking. Oh, great. There we go. And Morton gasps. Oh my god, it's a map. We gotta get back to the desert and then the snowland and then to Grouser's Castle. Clown car chitters. Again, a lot of chittering from this clown car. <laughs> Morton says, don't worry, you'll be alright. Clown car, you're gonna be alright. He hops out of the clown car. Uh, Suddenly, uh, clown car passes out. And Morton starts sobbing. No! So his car fainted. Is that what happened? His car got sick and fainted. <laughs> Morton carries the clown car to the nearest gas station where Cooper uh, puts the gas nozzle in the clown car's mouth. Clown car chitters back to life. Cooper, his shift ended at Cooper's and he went over to the gas station because he has nine million jobs. If you've seen any of our previous videos where Jason is having, presenting these stories, Cooper is uh, the guy who's got all the jobs in town. He's very busy. Oh, clown car, you're back. You came back to life. <laughs> and the narrator chimes in again and says, Oh, so Mo now Morton goes to the, went to the desert. <laughs> now Morton went to the desert. God. Morton says, Oh my God, it's so hot in this desert. And now Morton passes out. And a spiky walks by and says, Holy cacti, a dried out Koopa. Morton, <clears throat> Morton says, It's so hot here. The spiky says, cacti don't mind the heat because their bodies are made of water. Morton says, I need to be cold. You'll be cold soon. Morton says, okay, let's keep going. So the angry sun goes down and the mad moon rises. And Morton says, it's better now. Spiky says, bye. The narrator says, uh, Morton, ex Morton exited the desert and got to the snowy landscape. We're almost there, clown car. Oh, look at this snowball. Let me throw it at this tree. Yeah, oh no, look at that snowstorm coming. The snowstorm comes and takes them to Grouser's castle. Morton says, we're here, clown car. Let's go save Mama. Let's go through these guards. Suddenly, uh, Cheatsy appears. <laughs> Cheatsy. This is, Cheatsy is another, uh, I think Cheatsy is another character Nintendo never released. Cheatsy is uh, the, from the cartoon, and he's, which, which Koopaling you see the mirror image of? Hey. Cheatsy, but he's the mirror universe. I'm liar. Larry. God. Uh, I had an easier time with algebra. So, Cheatsy says, Morton's here, bully. Uh, Morton knocks Cheatsy and Bully both out with rocks. Bully is uh, the evil version of Roy, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Morton says, uh, what are we doing here again? Clown car shoot. Ah. And Morton forgot he's saving his own mother. Hello. Oh, right, we gotta rescue Mama. Don't worry, Mama, we're coming to rescue you. He throws a jaw at the prison cell and it blows up. Uh, so the prison cell blows up, and Morton says, Let's go, Mama. Grouser says, You managed to get out, but I've got something for you. Get ready to meet Tubba Blubba's fury. Morton starts yelling, Ah, we've gotta run away. He throws a rock at Tubba Blubba, and Tubba Blubba goes back to normal. I mean, he like shrinks back down to normal size, because he was a giant. Tubba Blubba gets angry at Grouser and says, You said I'd be more powerful than ever. He kicks Grouser all the way to the ocean. That's tough. Uh, so Morton and Bowser go back home, and Bowser returns from the doctor's appointment with his kids. And everything is fine and dandy, and Bowser says, You actually did it. And for that, you should have a reward. Bowser gives Morton danishes. Morton eats the danishes while watching Om Nom mm. stories. <laughs> Om Nom is a completely unrelated property. Om Nom is not even a, a Nintendo thing. Om Nom is just like a, a, a mobile game you play that you like a whole bunch, right? Okay, I feel like we've mentioned Om Nom stories several times without explanation. So the narr then the narrator says, and so our hero Morton rescued his own mother Bassett, and his clown car was great. <laughs> the end. Well, truly an epic <laughs> adventure, Jason. I mean, that I like that a lot, a whole lot more than Lord of the Rings. I'll tell you that much. 
I have trouble keeping track of all the mm. characters, and I'm not sure I understand who or what they mm. are, but I know the Kooplings, and I know Morton, and I know, and you have a vivid imagination, and it's fun. Let's remind everybody to like and subscribe to our beautiful channel, and we love you all. And, and smash foul bell. That's right, so they can get notifications. Yeah. There's nothing I love more than getting notifications. Uh, J-Man, I love you. Let's get out of here. Bye. 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 <laughs> I did it. I helped. I'm the sexiest adventurer in the world.